Well, hello everybody. Oh my goodness. Happy Pozzoli Day. Everybody's busy this morning. We have blue skies again. We started at 50 degrees. Yup, our high today will be about 80. So we got absolutely beautiful weather, huh, George? You betcha. We've been on the phone this morning talking to family and friends in Florida. Oh my goodness. All of our George family down there in the Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater, all down through there. Oh, I'll bet they've all got floods. We got family down there and they got water in the house. They live close to St. Pete Beach. Yes. Anyway, we got Jerry up here with Barbara. We have not seen Jenny. That's okay. These birds have a built-in GPS. They know where home is. And when she gets ready, she'll come back. Now, it is also very possible after talking to Eva this morning. Yeah, we spent a long, long time talking to George's mommy this morning. And I was talking to her about Jenny. It's possible. Oh, and George's doing a big bird. It's possible she's sitting on eggs. Just like Jerry now lays two eggs every night. It's possible that, that Jenny is also laying eggs, but has made a nest somewhere. And she will sit on those eggs for several weeks. And if nothing happens, she'll check them and listen to see if anything's happening. This is all done by nature. So, Jenny knows where the food is. She knows where home is. And she knows where she'll get good care and lovings. Yes. So, when she's ready to come back, she'll be back. But in the meantime... Jerry and Barbara come in every night. They spend the night in George's room with George. Yup. Anyway, some people were questioning, oh, are the duckies still sleeping inside? No. The duckies only come inside when it's below zero because they sleep on the floor out in the coop here. It's coldest at the floor. The warm air is up higher in the, in the hen house where the hens and, and Henry are at. But the floor can be very, very cold. So when it's below zero, I bring them in the house too. Yeah, I got enough critters living in the house. Yeah, <laughs> and these guys are playing Ring Around the Rosie. Yeah, anyway. I barbecued myself some ribs last night with bacon-wrapped asparagus. Oh, my goodness, was it good. Yup. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. Had to do it. Yeah. I had bacon-wrapped asparagus right off of the grill. Yeah. Anyway, my ribs came out really good, and I still got a half a rack to eat tonight. Anyway. Everybody's happy this morning. We have absolutely beautiful temperatures. Thoughts and prayers for all of our friends down south. I've got family and friends in Georgia. I used to live in North Carolina, and they have floods in North Carolina exactly where I used to live. I lived in the Maggie Valley, Waynesville area, and... Those are very, very tall mountains. And when it rains up in the mountains, it goes down the creeks and the creeks become rivers and they wash away anything that's near the creek because it's now a river. Houses and garages and cars and anything else. So thoughts and prayers for everybody facing damage from this storm. Yeah, thoughts and prayers for all those that lost their lives. But three or four million people now out of electricity. Oh, and by the way, I was talking to my son in Orlando. 
and he said there was only five count five counties in the entire state of Florida that had school today. Well, my granddaughter's in her senior year of high school, and my daughter-in-law is a school teacher. Both of them went to school because there was supposed to be school. Yeah, and guess what? There was no electricity in the school. Ah, oh, <laughs> my son is like, you think they would have their stuff together a little better than that. Florida's used to having hurricanes. But all the kids got on school buses and went to school and there was no electricity at the school. So now they're trying to figure out how to get them all back home. Yeah. Anyway, what a mess. Anyway, thoughts and prayers again to everybody that got flooded out. That's a mess. My son, his in-laws live on the beach in St. Pete. And they have not ever had any problem with flooding. Last year, the hurricane came in. It sucked all the water out of Tampa Bay instead of pushing water into it. Well, guess what? They got water on the floor in their house today. So my son's got to go over there and help his in-laws dry out their house. Yeah. Anyway, God bless you all. Thank you for all the wonderful comments on yesterday's video. We still have our blue skies and wish we could share them with everybody. You bet. We've got temperatures right at 80 degrees all week. Until next Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, over a week from now... The temperature starts going the other way. Yeah. We'll have night times in the 30s and daytime highs in the 60s. But between now and then, I got all kinds of stuff to do. You bet. Anyway, love you all. Hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I'm headed to Hayward for a bowl of pizzoli, George. George, you want to go to Hayward? He said, oh, you bet, Dad. Let's go walk down Main Street. Yeah. Anyway, love you all. The duckies are having fun playing with Layla. And Layla's playing with Barbara. She's been playing with Slippy all morning. They've been running from one end of the house to the other. Yeah. And I was on the computer, and I looked up just in time to see Slippy climb up onto the counter. So now, I'm, now I know how she gets up on the kitchen counter. Yeah, I saw her do it. Yep. Anyway, love you all. I'm going to head to town. I'm going to upload this on the way to Hayward and get me a bowl of pizzoli for lunch. Anyway, love you all. Thoughts and prayers for everybody that needs them. You betcha. Remember to stay safe. Wash your flippers often. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.